In this video, we will learn about the different methods of entering functions. So far, we have seen that in order to insert a function or create a formula using a function, then you would actually click this FX icon here, which says insert function, and that would insert a function. And then you can edit that formula however you want. There is also this ribbon here where you go to formulas there is this insert function button here and this will also launch the same search option here where you can search for a function by typing in a word and then you can choose the function and that will open up the functions argument box you can also just directly type in the function so for first time users or beginners in Excel, you could definitely benefit by clicking this insert function and going through that process. But once you have done it a few times, for example, we want to create another formula with a sum function, it seems like a long process to go through an insert function and select the sum and then provide the mm -hmm. arguments. Instead, we can just directly type in the cell. For example, equals, and then since we know the function that this is sum and we, we are clear we want to use sum, you can just type in S. As soon as you type in S, Excel will list a lot of items. And the ones with the FX icon here are functions. So we need functions, and there are so many that start with S. And now in order to narrow down, I can just choose U. And now we have so many that start with U. And for me to select one of these, I can use my keyboard to go one at a time. And as I go down by hitting the keyboard down arrow, and I can see that Excel gives me a brief description of what that function does. For example, some if, some ifs. So as I go down or go up, the small the tool tip here gives me the brief description of the function so now i can click directly on a specific function here i did double click and that enters that specific function in my cell i'm going to hit escape and start over again because we want to use sum so i can directly double click on sum or I can just type in M and open the parenthesis. So this will also get us into the sum function mode. I'm going to hit backspace a couple of times and back here. There's another way of entering the function. So I'm going to highlight sum because it's blue shaded. You can see that I've highlighted this sum and I'm going to press the tab key. This is my favorite way of entering the function because it is very, very convenient to use the tab key instead of using the mouse because I use the keyboard most of the time. But you can choose to use whichever method you want to enter a function. And as soon as the tab key is pressed, Excel puts an open parenthesis and it shows me a little help here. And when I hover over it, this becomes a clickable link. And if I click that, Excel will open me help documentation on the specific function. And Excel also tells me that the first one argument would be number one, and then we have number two and so on. But number one is not within the square brackets, while as number two is within square brackets. And what that means is that number one is required. Number two is optional. It is telling us that I need at least one number for me to calculate the sum. So at least one number is required, but you may enter more numbers up to 255 numbers. But if you'd only have one or two numbers, just type them in. That's what Excel is telling us with this little notation here. So let's select a specific cell here and immediately Excel puts the cell reference here as the first number. 
and I have to type comma. Only then Excel moves to the second cell reference. So now I have to enter number two because I put a comma. Excel is expecting me to type something here. So I can either type a value, something here, or I can use cell reference. I'm going to just type in here a seven and I'm going to put comma again. And now Excel tells me, oh, enter the third number and I can enter more numbers here. Let's say NB5. And now another thing you would notice that you can actually use your keyboard now that you are in the specific mode here where you are selecting an argument for this function you can actually use your keyboard now to go up or down or all four directions and you see that the cell reference would change this is again a convenient method if you like if you like using the keyboard and i can also use the shift arrow keys now to select multiple cells and you can see here that i've selected a range here in the number three slot. So number does not mean it's just one number. You can actually select a range of numbers. And let's say that's all we want to add now. I have, I'm done with entering this formula. So I will just close this function by typing in the close brackets there and then hit enter. So now you can see what's in this formula bar. We did sum of NB2, which is this cell, comma seven because I want to add number seven to that and then I selected a group of cells here. So this is a formula where we have done a function. We have also used a cell reference. We can actually use numeric values typed in. We have also used a range. So all of these things could be arguments to a specific formula or a function. You can perform simple calculations with formulas using simple operators like plus or minus. You can directly type text or numeric values in your formula, or you can use cell references where you're pointing to cells. Using cell reference is definitely a better practice because the formula is now dynamic and it updates automatically. You can use functions to perform complex and advanced operations and save a lot of time. And we use the example sum function here. You can enter the function by using this insert function button, or you can actually type in the function directly using your keyboard. You can enter arguments for the functions using your keyboard, you typing in the cell reference, or you can use the mouse to select cells. And finally, we saw that we can enter a cell reference, numeric value, range of cells, everything in the same function. And I can even add an operator here by typing in multiplied, or let's do division by five, and I get a number here. So all of these complex multiple items in a formula can be done in Excel. And this is where Excel is really, really great at. And another thing to keep in mind here is that this entire thing is called a formula, whereas the sum is called a function.